The sacred city of Kandy in the heart of Sri Lanka gets the busiest during this time of year as people prepare for one of the biggest festivals in the country, the Singhala and Tamil New Year. But the surging prices in the country are dampening this year's preparations. These firecrackers that used to be the best seller every year fail to find any buyers. Things are expensive. Rather than spending their money on firecrackers, people would rather spend it on rice, sugar and essentials. I'm selling these for 80 cents each. People would rather buy a kilo of rice with that money. At a time when Sri Lankans are struggling to meet their daily needs, it is unimaginable to plan anything special. Oh no, it's unbearable. My goodness, I'm paying almost double the price compared to the last year. An acute fuel shortage is causing rolling power cuts lasting up to 10 hours and hurting the tourism industry, the biggest foreign currency earner in the country. Small guest house owners are constantly looking for ways to stay afloat. Earlier we are using this as a decoration. After this crisis started, we started to light these lamps. But unfortunately, we are shortage of uh, kerosene oil. No electricity means no air conditioner, mosquito repeller or refrigerator. It's very expensive these days, all the food items. The prices have gone double and uh, wastage also have gone double. The world famous Salem tea is also hanging by a thread. In a bid to become the world's first entirely organic farming nation last year, the government imposed a sudden ban on fertilizer imports that drastically affected tea production. And now, with the country's limited foreign reserves, fertilizer imports are disrupted. The price was very less and the fertilizer was subsidized and you know it was again at about 1,500 rupees per bag, that's 50 kg. Now what the information we get from our suppliers is it's about 15,000 rupees per, kg, per 50 kg bag. Until these industries suffer, it's hard for Sri Lanka to pull out of the economic turmoil.